What day of the week do you feel the effects of Trikafta the most? Sunday, one million percent. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Are you ready? Ready to for what? To conquer Monday. Ready to conquer Wait. Monday. No, what? No. What? Oh no! You got too excited for him. <sighs> it's always a like catch twenty two when you start talking when <laughs> yeah. he's just like peace out. Yeah. What do you got on the docket this morning? I. I'm trying to decide whether to do my best first or make beef stew first. Mm. I think, Decisions. I think I'll do my best first. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ollie and I are going to go for a walk. Isn't that right, buddy? You want to go for a walk? Let's go. You guys ever feel like this happens the moment? Like, it's not raining all morning, and then the moment you walk outside, it starts raining. Ollie, we picked the worst time to go for a walk, but... He's ready, so we're gonna do it. Come on. Oh, guys, check out our mums that came back from last year. The purple guys are going crazy. Ollie and I have our normal, about a mile route that we take around the neighborhood. If ever <laughs> I try to switch it up, like, because it's raining and I wanna not walk a mile in the rain, he, he gets pretty stubborn. He's like, um, like, watch this. Hey, Ollie, you want to go down this road over here? He, he entertains the thought. Okay, let's go this way. Of course, for camera, for the camera, you actually come for the last, like, side street that I tried to go down. He, like, resists, like, I want to go the full mile. Don't you cut this walk short, but... Yeah, I think the he knew that the sides the last side street was one that I often go down to cut the walk short and uh, he's a smart dog I can't believe he actually came along and didn't donkey neck for when I had the camera out little whippersnapper <laughs> and just like that, the sun came out while we're walking. Okay, now I can give you a case in point of the donkey necking. Ollie, you wanna go back this way? Oh, oh, every time, okay, this is what I need to do whenever he's being stubborn is pull out the camera. Because literally right before this clip, he's like, I don't wanna go back home, I wanna go do the full mile. You're a little whippersnapper. I think today, on this Monday morning, Part of why it feels a little dreary and exhausting is because Mary and I are, we don't vlog on Sundays and we love that we get to take a day off and really invest that day in our local church community. And I think because we don't vlog on Sundays, I don't know that our vlogs ever really capture our gratitude for what Sundays look like for us now. Um, when we lived in Massachusetts, I was serving on the staff of a church as a pastor, and Sundays were absolutely exhausting. Now, fast forward to today, Sundays are absolutely exhausting, but in a different kind of way, because Mary and I are able to get exhausted together. Um, we both serve our church, uh, we get up early, we arrive before anybody else and start setting up. We have outdoor church currently and um, it's just a joy for us to do it together. Mary sings and I help with a lot of the uh, tech stuff and uh, preach from time to time and uh, just um, help out in the life of the church and it's so life-giving for us yes it's physically exhausting I feel uh, a little bit of exhaustion on Mondays uh, but it's not like it used to be 
largely because I've talked about this uh, from time to time, but there was an exhaustion in my season of pastoring while Mary was really sick of just being feeling torn between two places. Uh, torn between, you know, I'm running back and forth between the house and the church because Mary is waking up and coughing and throwing up and I want to be there to help her and yet I also want to be there at the church to um, get ready for the service and be um, talking and counseling with people and uh, it was just this feeling of being torn between two places and um, it's such like all that to say this season that Mary is her body is and her lungs are stable it one of the greatest joys of that is that Mary and I can serve together on Sunday mornings and I don't feel torn between two places and all that to say like I'm so thankful for the season of pastoring in Massachusetts um, and it's not that that was bad in that feeling of being torn between two places. I don't think that was something that was wrong or I never despised it. it w I say I never despised it. I think there were moments where I was very exhausted by it and it made it hard, but I never thought like that Mary CF or that season of life was, um, it just kind of felt like this is this is the unique challenge of the season and we're gonna navigate it and it's got hard elements to it but we're gonna press through it and continue to do what we're called to do and I think in contrast this season of her being stable and us being able to serve together it just causes us to appreciate that all the more and I think to soak it up and to pour ourselves out into our church community and the people that God's put around us and so I guess this is your Monday morning walk reflection on seeing the great joy of stability and the evidence of that in Sunday mornings and even the exhaustion of Monday mornings. Mid Monday morning, all the vibes. Oh, hey, Harry. Uh -huh. What are you up to? Oh, I'm just vlogging. I was, uh, I was saying Ollie has all the mid Monday morning vibes right now. Rainy even. Rainy even. <laughs> Ooh. Look what I found on Mary's desk this morning. I'm I'm digging that. It's kind of dreary, but kind of bright. <laughs> it's dreary. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it feels like a dreary day. But no, it's like muted colors. I like that. I had Ooh. well, I had a day where I just didn't know what to paint. So I painted colors. Okay. And I used some tape and made lines and all that. And then I ended up writing part of Philippians 4 on it and enjoyed that. So I thought I'd do another one for whenever I want to write more. That's cool. Down. And then this was the old, uh, I don't know what to paint today and fish came out. Nice. So when you sit down to paint, like what is your process like to decide? Have I already painted enough jars today? <laughs> no, I'll paint more. <laughs> or, no. Um, <clears throat> I think it really depends. It depends on the day. Um, you just kind of feel it. Yeah. Whatever you're feeling, it yeah. just comes out. Yeah, and I mean, when I did my first um, sketchbook, uh -huh. I did it sort of like a day in the life, sort of. Kind of like a journal? Kind or? of, yeah. So like passages that I was reading in the Bible that were you know, impactful for me, or like here, this was last year, November, mid-November, I was starting to paint some Christmas stuff, and then, <clears throat> then it was Thanksgiving, this is a depiction of us on Zoom with my family for Thanksgiving, <laughs> 
But it was kind of like, yeah, what am I thinking about today? What am I reading today? That sort of thing. And that was a good like practice in just like painting what I felt like painting and then also just painting things that I see around me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm painting, now wait, I'm trying to remember what sketchbook this is in. I think it's in this one. Um, where is it? Sometimes I will just like paint what's in front of me, like this one. I just painted, so this was, I was sitting at the kitchen table and there was a thing of Old Bay, there was my inhaler, the tape dispenser, a cactus, a jar, and a mug. I love that. And I just painted it. I didn't have any ambitions for it. I just painted. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's when the magic happens. Because sometimes I sit down and I'm like, oh, I want to paint whatever, fill in the blank. Yeah. And then I feel disappointed by it because in my mind, what I was going to paint was this grand right. whatever. But then, yeah, so sometimes I just paint what's in front of me, which this would be a really nice view, right? Like mm -hmm. old dirty paint water, mm -hmm. nebulizer, trash. Nice. Real life, you're saying. Yes. Real life. Um, so yeah, sometimes, well, and also sometimes I want to paint something that takes no thought. Mm. That's where the jars come in. Nice. For me, jars, you can do them more loose, you can do them tighter. Like this one I would say was not a lot of thought. And now that I look at it a couple months later, I don't know, something about these jars like draw me in. Hmm. That's cool. Like, I've never thought so deeply about jars. Um, other times I'll paint, like this, I painted a hummingbird. And then a, a month or two later, I put a Bible verse on it. That's cool. Yeah. So I have a question for you. I talked to the people about this on our, on our walk. But okay. what day of the week do you feel the effects of Trikafta the most? Sunday. Mm -hmm. One million percent. <laughs> One million percent. Because I was telling them, like, <laughs> I feel a little exhausted today. Right. And I was like, you know what? I think there's a piece of our lives, <laughs> of our Trikafta lives, that they don't fully experience. Well, it's funny you bring that up because I was thinking this weekend. Okay, this coming weekend? I was like, this last weekend. Oh, okay. The one we just finished. Okay. Maybe we should vlog on a Sunday sometime. Yeah. We'll take another day off. Yeah. It, Maybe. It, it'd be fun to just show that. Because I think it... I was just saying to them how, like, I feel on Sundays the effects of Trikafta the most. Because it was Sundays that were probably the hardest yeah. for me. Yeah. Pre-Trikafta. Yeah. You would go to church and set up. You'd come back and help me wake up and get ready for church and yeah. all of that. And now... We just roll out the door and yeah. do it all. Do it all. And I said yesterday, I was running in the parking lot outside with mm -hmm. a little four-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. And we were playing ball and all this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Peter, I did not think about my lungs one time mm -hmm. today. And that is such a gift. Yeah. That's a gift. I think we should vlog a Sunday somewhere. <laughs> And, yeah. And just just to document it for ourselves even. And yesterday we also went to like a big warehouse consignment sale, kids consignment sale. Mm -hmm. And wa I walked miles yeah. in there. And that was after church. And so yesterday was a particularly busy day. Fun and busy. So Thanks for coming on this dreary Monday morning. You got and this. Yeah, you got this today, guys. Whatever you're walking through, we're cheering for you. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good Ooh. night. Hey, Hog Tie. <laughs> Good night, buddy.